Yo, what's up guys, it's Valens here. We are back with more Arknight story. This time it's gonna be Operational Intelligence story number two. Record Destroyer. Encounters are often serendipitous indeed. A warrior's life must be both wondrous and cruel. Alright, let's go, begin story. Hopefully this one is shorter than the last one. Fingers crossed. We're in trouble here. Oh, must be something fun for you to contact me on this channel. What's up? Not that much fun, W. While you were sorting out that Sarkai's mercenary, one of our teams deserted. They looked like some kind of battlefield mop-up logistics team, so we got after them right away. They scattered as soon as we made contact, making for the city limits. Sounds like somebody earned a cookie. There's more. The squad we sent after them fell off the grid too. We haven't been able to make contact. I thought maybe you'd know what happened, since you're leading the mercenaries now. How does the squad suddenly vanish? 1 p.m. Clear skies. Yo, Doctor Who! Kernobog outskirts, wilderness. Ooh, it's her. Am I supposed to understand this? Wait. Oh, this is W. Okay. Wait, I thought her name was... No, I guess it is W. Okay. It is what it is. Other teams report no sign of any enemy ambush or trap. We only know they were facing a sarcasm. Of course they're sarcasm. It's not like I've got any other mercs. But anyway, this is a good story. Keep going. At first contact, we managed to suppress the target. Playing it safe, we held back our squads. The enemy did not appear particularly strong. Then suddenly, all communications ceased. Yeah, you guys tip your hand pretty easily. A real predator knows not to bear his fangs too soon. I, I barely remember her. Do we? we? We don't fight her that often, do we? I feel like it's uh, one or two levels. What should we do? Well, what's so special about those sarcasms? I'm not sure. We lost contact with the eyewitnesses, but from a distance, all we know is they have a close quarters fighter who really likes to get up in there. Then I need you to avoid direct contact with them. Stall that one, I'll be there in a bit. Something the matter? Nothing, just a little baby squad that made good bait. We move to support them? Come on, everyone's got a job to do, why can't we just let everybody handle their own thing? Yeah, let's not think too hard about this one. I do care so much about the sarcasm weirdos my poor predecessor, predecessor brought, brought along. Understood. Inform all squads, prepare for battle, move to the outskirts of the city. Okay, here he comes. Oh yeah. Ah, this bass is moving even faster, is he still hiding his true power? There he is. Pathetic, is this the best your reunion movement has to offer? This cocky, he's making fun of us. It's like we're about to go in, in a battle. I knew I'd run into some old friends here, but I never thought I'd see you. We go home before you get killed. Don't give me that look like you want to get even. He's not even using a fraction of his full power. But hey, if you want to die that bad, I guess I won't get in your way. Wait, is this the, the stealth dudes? Or I guess they're the, they're the mages. They're so thin though. Fall back. Oh, there we go. Reunion caster. They don't really look like the casters though. They look more like the stealth guys. It's been a while, Wandering Swordmaster. You. They call me W now. What a terrible name. How about you? Flamebringer. Surely you know what it means to exchange names with me. Oh, spooky. So you traded business cards with all those dudes you sliced up before? Commissions and combat are not the same. A sarcasm like you having been through a battle like that suddenly up and vanishing, it makes a girl worry. And a mercenary running off just because he's got a new leader? That's a little wobbly, isn't it? That is utterly insignificant, though I never imagined your subordinates would be so unworthy, unfit to even hear my name. And I guess I should be honored. Oh, but those men weren't under me very long. Ah, are you inviting me to kill you? No, I have no interest in your petty fighting style. <laughs> yeah, you tell them. You rely so much on outside forces. But I have to admit, tactics are a kind of skill. Then if your tactics are more elegant than they used to be, I am willing to taste them. That's weird. Weren't you one of those as long as the target dies anything goes types? 
W, the squad has fallen back to the target location and successfully cut off the enemy retreat. You have nowhere to go. And I never expected you would be leading this band of mooks. What, what's a mook? You've all changed a lot. Mooks. Oh, uh, you mean reunion? Or do you mean uh, the sarcasm? Gah. Dead. I won't underestimate you, Sarkas. I've been watching you. Too bad. You're out of options. Is that how it is? I guess you are too. Isn't this much more fun? Now you're my whetstone, and my blade is a bit dull. Really? You're still talking big? Right. Come on. Ah, how are you? Gah. You're still talking? He's even stronger. Not that I'm surprised. W, why are we just standing here watching? Just give the order and we'll turn him to dust. So now I get to boss you around again? Now it's not the time for this. But I'm really not your commander. Here's an idea. Back up, don't provoke him and pick another time to get yourself killed. Right? You really thought you were gonna step up and pick a fight with him? Is this open mic night? This is, this is references. Who's next? Where's the fire? You got somewhere to be? This isn't the first time I've been surrounded. Right, right, let's see. Are you talking about that civil war? Sounds like a good story. Tell it for us. What's to tell? They ambushed me. They're all dead. I'm still alive. That's the story. What do you think? Should I keep going? That fight just now was nothing for me. I need so much more. No, I'm just thinking like, why don't you join us? W? He's a traitor. Look how many of us he's killed. It was my mercenaries who decided to use him. He'd be good for the union. Got a problem? Yes. I mean, think about it. We have so much more fun over here. War, bloodshed, and all those sarcasm buddies. Everything you're looking for, we got here on a silver platter. I'm speaking to you from the heart here. We have so much in common, you and I. I don't think so. You're infected, right? You'd fit right in with the reunion. What's the problem? Wanting destruction, organized savagery. I failed to see what I could get from a group like this. You call this war? This is just the strike of a match flaming out. You should know what a real war looks like. Don't talk like that. We've got serious, hard-working folks here too. Lots of diversity in reunion. Like, my old boss was kind of a purist, but I'm the type who finds joy in everything. If I could make a request, then I would like to taste Tallulah's swordsmanship. The Dragon Lady. I mean, I don't want to talk her up too much, but you don't have a snowball's chance in hell of beating her. And like, could we even call her thing swordsmanship? You'd be a pile of dust before you even get close to her. I know. Of course, I also know that if I refuse you, the odds of me escaping the city alive are just as small. So what have I got to lose? If I don't push myself to break the chains of complacency, how can I ever improve? Huh, when did you become so sentimental? I seek only the meaning of life. Right, whatever you say, buddy. Let's set the dragon lady aside for a second. What do you think of running with the mercenary team? You're used to the work, you get to do pretty much whatever you want, and the commander you hate is already dead. You can't be trusted, both of us have so much to hide. Ah, I know a better place, one much more suited to sharpening my blade than reunion. I saw it not long ago, where you and that sarcasm had your little transaction. That battle got my blood pumping. There's always something. You took him out in the end, but facts are facts, you can't cover this up. Hmm. Alright, alright, you win. We made a verbal contract. You get rid of the boss, grease the wheels a bit for me. We're all friends here. Let's not stand on ceremony. But you won't let them go. I can at least leave the people they want to protect. We agreed a Rhodes Island rescue team would come to help. Me killing him didn't break that deal, did it? I've got my principles. I don't mind cutting some slack here and there. But when I got a toy right here in my hands, how am I not supposed to play with it? And you let him take down so many of your elite fighters. They're not easily replaced. Yeah, yeah, I'm still pissed off about that. Uh, here, I thought I was gonna get back together when, with an old friend, catch up, make nice, but you're impossible, I'm positively heartbroken. W, we need to get moving, dragging this out too long will throw everything off schedule. Fine, looks like we're out of time here. You're really not gonna change your mind? Of course not. Last question, who are you working for now? Oh, there's no way you're gonna answer that, is there? And I think I can guess anyway. Really? You know, I thought they weren't so famous. I've got a lot of friends in the neighborhood. You know, I've got friends just about everywhere. You're one of them. That last bit disproves the first bit. Nah, what I'm saying is I might have an idea of how your old mercenary team got wiped out. The 
honored captain of your sword masters behind the plot that turned you into the man you are today may very well be in the place you intend to go. Is that right? Is it? Fascinating. Ah ha ha, so you don't even know. I mean, I only just found out myself. You'll figure it out soon enough. Things aren't as simple as you think. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do. <laughs> Whatever will you do? W, what are you waiting for? Okay, listen, my sarcasts aren't going to do anything. Whatever needs doing, you guys do it yourself. Swordmaster, uh, Flamebringer, you might die in this battle we're about to have. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've been in a position like this. I'm excited. Long time? Maybe getting your whole team wiped out didn't turn you as icy cold as they say. Looks like you're all cheered up. That's one way we're different, W. Happiness isn't a goal worth chasing. I lost so much last time, but now the path before me is crystal clear. This time, I hope you won't disappoint me. Look at that big smile. If I said I'd let you leave, would you believe me? Funny, I was going to ask you the same question. Okay. According to the contract, there is no requirement that you engage in open hostilities with Reunion prior to your onboarding. At my request. Welcome infected and those ambitious enough to pursue solutions to the Oripathy crisis, but reject those who violate rules and regulations. Considering our lack of information surrounding the specific circumstances of that incident, it has not factored into our decision. But this will not happen again. Should anything happen, we can deal with it your way. We have already dealt with it. Your goals and motivations have also not factored into our decision. If we determine you are inadmissible into Rhodes Island, then no matter how upstanding you may be, we cannot make an exception. Right, it's just a personal request. Hmm, no matter. Welcome aboard. Listen, your actions from here on reflect on the operators beside you, and they will be making decisions based on your actions. As long as you abide by our regulations, Rhode Island welcomes you as one of our own, regardless of your past. Conversely, Operator Flamebringer, should you step even one pinky toe out of line, right. Well, what is she gonna do? She's, she's so weak. Now then, let's go to medical. There's someone who'd like to see you. And you are? Oh, I gotta select that? You. Excuse me. Huh. So that's how it is. I never should have doubted you, W. Turns out living a bit longer does have its perks. Okay, dude. He's into the doctor. Okay, interesting. Why are they all talking about happiness? The first one, they were talking about happiness. This one, they were talking about happiness. There's, there's no happiness in here, man. There's there's war, there's, there's inf infected. Talking about happiness. Like, like that's ever gonna happen in this situation. Alright. Story number three. Got uh, Jessica here, sniper training. Even endless hours of arduous training cannot hide the fear within. That is because what is most terrifying is not some unknown enemy, but rather one's knowledge of her own immaturity. Okay, we're talking about fear. See, this is more like it. Fear, destruction, this type of stuff. Ooh, this karm. 3 o'clock, 20 meters. Caster, target A. Nice. 8 o'clock, 30 meters. Commander behind the heavies. Enemy sniper at 10 o'clock. Heads down. Getting some training. 5 p.m. Clear skies. This is inside. Longman Harbor. Rhodes Island warship. Lower deck firing range. This is only the fifth round. You're already slowing down on your targets and not even hitting vitals. In a real combat situation, the enemy could have even shot back. What's wrong, Jessica? Is this training exercise too hard for you? Why does she have the shield inside? Well, what are you shielding? <laughs> are they fighting each other? Uh, Phew, no. Let's keep going. You have the right attitude, 
but you need more strength behind it. Let's take 10, catch your breath. I want to go over handgun basics with you one more time. You know, it's easy for you to say when you have a shield covering your entire body. You can't neglect your fundamentals, not even for a second. Right. First is balance and posture. No matter what kind of environment you're moving through, you can't let yourself go. Keep your upper body low, protect your core. <laughs> then keep the originium arts you're using to control the gun nice and stable. She's, she's, that's, she's Jessica. She, I, I guess she does have some uh, some arts when you get her second skill. Feel the connection between your arm and the gun's interior. Reach out to the ammunition feeding into the chamber, then activate it and let it fly. It's easier said than done. You have to meticulously engage your originium arts to trigger it. If you lose control of your arts, the gun could misfire. You could even damage it. Last, line up your target, aim, fire and move. These are the absolute basics, basic basics, okay dude, of black steel firearms theory. You should be well acquainted with them, Jessica. Now, do you know the biggest mistake you made with your shooting just now? Um, I haven't trained enough, so I wasn't moving my center of gravity fast enough, and then I didn't control my originium arts very well. And I hesitated too much before firing, flinching and missing my targets. Ah, when I say it out loud, I messed up everything I did. You're half right. Jessica, you're trying to do everything all at once. You want to be fast and you want to hit all your targets. You find yourself worrying about every little thing. You end up getting spooked by your own tail. And because you're so panicked, you're losing control of your originium arts. Then, when you start aiming at the enemy, you have to be running control tests inside your weapon. That's why you have so much trouble shooting. Th that's what's happening? The first thing you have to do is clear your mind of all those things you worry so much about and just focus on your fingertips. Trust your partner, the gun in your hand won't betray you. The way you treat it, that's how it will respond to you. The speed and volume of your arts aren't important, just focus on maintaining precise control and stability. Come on, let's go, I want to see you move past those three windows and hit as many targets as you can as fast as you can. Go 5 rounds, focus on your originium arts. Got it. Easy. Whoa, Franca. Fundamentals. It's been three hours. Get me out of this sweaty training room. It's just a scouting mission in some ruins. An easy little thing for Jessica to take care of. You think she'll run into a big baddie out for a stroll? What I think she needs to train most of all is her confidence. Looking at black steel files, Jessica's stats are all completely middle of the pack. <laughs> nice one. And it's not like she's not under pressure with this special mission attached to Rhodes Island. She's going out with Frostleaf and Meteorite and they'll take care of her, but making sure she's prepared can't hurt. It's gonna hurt when she passes out from exhaustion in the ruins out there. She came looking for me to train up her combat ability, she's worried she'll be a burden. Right after the Longman cleanup, we're heading back to Black Steel, Black Steel HQ. We don't have much time to train Jessica. I'm trying to share as much of my experience as possible, especially with firearms. Take such good care of your little girl, it's sweet. Who knew you remembered we had to go back to Black Steel? We report on the Longman situation, but you also have the usual tests to go through. You're not preparing at all? I'm not worried about your numbers? I've already prepared everything we need to give to the, to the company. It's not like I've been goofing off every night at Rhodes Island. <laughs> How did you know I've just been goofing off? You really look after your teammates, Liskarm. And as for my scores, if they drop too much and I get transferred, at least I won't have to deal with you. Whoa! Rude. Judging by what you've been doing with Jessica, I guess the idea is just to pile on the training so she gains experience. I just see her grinding away over and over and over again. I mean, if you're just having a little firearms seminar, why not go get the those sparkly angels? They're the real gun masters, right? Bang, pow, I bet they'd straighten Jessica out. A lot better than learning from you, anyway. With the... If you go ask them, all you'll get is what is there to study. There's nothing simpler. Why not just fill it out? Answers like that. Those angels who walk around with multiple heavy weapons, a handgun like this is little more than a toy. Flaterano firearms practices are insanely advanced and complicated. 
She couldn't learn anything from them. Ah, makes you kind of envious, doesn't it? Getting a handle on the fine control of Originium arts under a wide variety of potential circumstances is no easy feat and doesn't come with a typical training regimen. Why do the Black Steel bosses even want their people using such nasty weapons? It's a long range weapon that's harder to use than a crossbow, with more expensive ammunition and more finicky maintenance. The pistol is a logical enough choice for Black Steel. Standardized weapons make, man make management easier for the company, reduce turnover, and screen out mediocrity. Plus, they have a guaranteed rate of fire and are easier to conceal than other ranged weapons. Alright, alright, I get it. You just keep at it. I'm gonna head home, if you don't mind. I'm cheering Jessica on in spirit. I need to rest up some more before you go back to HQ. I didn't call you here for my health. Jessica needs your help too. I can't teach her frontline assault and high-speed maneuvers at the same time. Just teach her to carry a big shield and move around while shocking people. Nice, nice. Got him. Be serious. Your experience is worth a lot more to Jessica than my advice. Moving back and forth around the front lines, breaking through the enemy's defenses, maintaining Originium Arts to power weapons. Nobody in Blacksteel has the kind of control over Originium Arts that you do. Stop, stop, stop already. How is it this kind of stuff just flows out of you? You're embarrassing me. Anyway, it's not that I'm against teaching Jessica, I just have no idea how to be a teacher. What if she can't follow me? What if she can't keep up? I don't know if I can slow down. That's fine, that's how Jessica would want it. She, she doesn't even use your gun. Like, what, what, what are you gonna teach her? Have you actually looked at Jessica's numbers? The ones you just gave me? No, is something wrong? How bad are they? She's been working so hard. Actually, take a look. <laughs> she doesn't top black steel charts, but in absolute terms, she's not much worse than us. Dude. Franca is rude, man. We knew Jessica could stand to be more confident, but these aren't a stupid kid's scores. She's trained long and hard, and she's committed to not letting us down. I... I had no idea. Just make sure you don't teach Jessica to be... <laughs> something like you. Alright, good one. Good one, Franca. Wow. And I thought Doberman was the bad one. Okay, so that was... Uh, how, many, how many are there in total? There are seven. So we're gonna stop here for now. That was uh, that, that was pretty nice. I've got a little bit of flame bringer backstory there, and then uh, Jessica training. Uh, what's it called? I I, I forget the, the the name. Like the the, the sequence, the, the training sequence of the movie. It looks like next we're gonna have uh, Executor Ifrit, but we're gonna do that uh, in the next part. Alright, guys, hope you enjoyed. We have a couple more here. But we do have uh, plenty of time to do them. I'm gonna try to do the next part tomorrow. So, catch you then. Make sure to subscribe for more Arknights content. And uh, I shall see you in the next video. Have a good one and take care.